G'day gang, Danny, how's it going folks? We are back in the Palia, in the Palia, for a second part of this little look. This, this first look, I suppose. Uh, we're checking it out here in 2023. Uh, let's go and find Badru. Badru, where are you? Badru, Badru, that's Aoi. Ref. Badru, you're all the way over there, okay. So we... <laughs> I guess... Oh, we also got to turn, talk to Reth. We do got to talk to Reth. So we should go there first. Retho. Where are you? You're at the back here. Somewhere. Reth, is that you? That's you. So much to do, so little time. Oh, hey, you're one of the newbies, right? Hmm. Name's Reth, but you can call me Trouble. In addition to being bad news, I also provide Gilema with precious soups and stews over at Otomu's Horn. Ah. Stop by later, yeah? Always happy to chat with a friendly new face. Can you teach me how to cook? Whoa there, you gotta learn to warp before you can swim. Unless you're a fish. But I'm like 97% sure you're a human. Why don't you start out by making campfire for your place? Once you start grilling up some shrooms like a champ, or we'll get you started on the complicated stuff. Hmm. Oh, if you don't want to be stuck in a tent for the rest of your life, probably a good idea to talk to Kenley next. He's the mayor. But hey, I won't judge either way. Uh-oh. Yo. Uh -oh. My soup's burning. <laughs> What? All right, so we gotta go craft a campfire. But I imagine he, we gotta go back. We gotta go back to our house to do that. We can't just do that right here, can we? Right? I mean, I gotta be able to make a campfire first. Craft a campfire. I would gladly do that. If I knew how. Uh, return home. How do I, how do I do that? Got accessories there. Craft a campfire. Well, let's read the quest again. Collect resources to build a campfire, then craft a campfire. Okay, so I guess we're going to collect... I don't know, do we have, we probably already have it though. We probably already have the stuff we need, right? Because it doesn't say start, start chopping down trees. Not telling me I know I'm progressing towards being able to build something here. Good to see you again. Oh, oh, you scared me. I thought you might be the magistrate. No, I'm not. I just want to learn how to cook a fire. Oh. Guess what, Dan? I've got both uh, a booth at the Margie Market. Got you there later. We got some sweet deals. All right, I'll see you there. Ah. I'll be expecting you. Good talk. Good talk, buddy. Um. Oh, anyway, let's just keep moving on. I'm sure that'll pop up on my screen at some point. And say, this is how you do it. Yeah, it's somewhere at the back here. Is our buddy Badru. <laughs> Badru? You in here, pal? Not 35 meters away. Is there a bag? Got a back door over here. Nope. Alright. Better stop breaking into people's houses. There he is. That's some... Got some big carrots over here, pal. Hey there! Well, if it isn't another friend I haven't met yet, I'm Badru. And I'm the farmer, and I sense we have some good times ahead. Uh? Did I mention in addition to farming, I also do stand-up comedy? 
You teach me to garden. Ah. Well, you have come to the right place if you carrot about fresh quality produce. Honestly, I'm impressed to see you going after what you want. If I had that kind of gumption, maybe I'd be doing more with my life than just making ends meet. <laughs> yeah. I'm just kidding around. Farm's life is great. Especially if you love the smell of omru, omu manure in the morning. I'll admit, it's a bit of an acquired taste. What? Tell you what, meet me on your plot later and I'll walk you through the steps. Looks like you're ready to swing by Kenley. He's our mayor, so he'll get you set up with a new house. Ooh. Happy trails. Okay. So I've also got to meet this guy in my plot and I've got to craft a campfire. But this guy's going to get us a new house. Right? So it'd be nice if when I'm turning the compass around like this, something, something, some sort of information showed up so I know what I'm looking at here. Kenley's over here. Looks like Oni has a quest for us as well. So let's go and travel there. Quite a beautiful day here in the old Palia. I am quite curious about what's, what else is out there. What else exists out there in the world? But I guess you gotta get your basics done first. Gotta establish our base. Pop, 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 pop. Is that that looks like a mare, all right? <laughs> Look at that head. I always have time. Greetings, I am the Honorable Kenley Bahari, the firstborn son of the late Kenjun Bahari, the 118th Duke of the Bahari Province, mm -hmm. and brother to Kenyara Bahari, the current Duchess of the Bahari Province. Mm -hmm. I am mayor of this fine village, and it is great pleasure and honor to welcome you here among us. I wanted to ask you about getting a house. A house? And you're, uh, you're asking me? Well, personally, I, I inherited mine. Have you tried that? I wouldn't to build my own. Oh, right, yes, of course, maybe, because you have just moved in. The, uh, plot didn't come with one? Ah, uh, no matter. I'm sure I have the paperwork around here somewhere. Just give me a moment. Oh no, where is it? Hmm. I shall tell you what. Go find Tish, our resident carpenter. I'm sure she'd be delighted to get you started on some nice furniture while I... Ah, uh, locate those forms. Toodaloo! Toodaloo. Talk to Tish now. Where is... where is Tisho? There's Tisho. She just... In front of me. Walking around. Hey Tish! Wait up! Hmm, what to make? Hi, oh, welcome to the valley. Hi. I'm Tish. I run the furniture store. Are you new in town or just passing through? I just moved in. Ah. Oh, so exciting, but also tough. When my brother and I first moved from the city, it took us a little time to adjust. Huh? Well, more than a little in his case. But if you need help with any of the locals, don't hesitate to ask. I'm known as a bit of a grump whisperer in these parts. Kenley sent me. Oh, I'm so glad you're here to live. Uh, I was trying to come up with a good welcome gift when I realized a house isn't much of a home without furniture. <laughs> so here's some simple recipes for you to start with. If you're tired from all your hard work, why not build yourself a place to sit or a table to eat at? My friend Joe insisted you have a wardrobe too. He's a tailor, and he always says looking your best makes you feel your best. Yes. Even if there's something you can't make now, I'm sure inspiration will strike as soon as you start building. See ya. All right, so she just talked us up with a whole bunch of things. Uh, so... Well, again, I probably got to go back to my plot, don't I? So meet Bardra at your plot and craft a campfire. Now, I saw that I got returned to home, so hopefully this just takes me straight home. Which it looks like it does. Perfect. Do-do-do-do-do. Ah, oh, Bardra, hello there. 
How are your crops doing? I don't know. Good to see you again, Springbean. This place is already starting to look different. I figured you'd still be working on setting up that tent. That's some work ethic. Uh, I like making the place feel homely. Oh, just the right answer. I'm sure you're gonna fit in fine. Fit in here just fine. I bet you've been working up an appetite from all that chopping and mining. Well, if you got patience, I've got a solution to your woes. Gardening. All you have to do is wait a few sun cycles and voila, dinner or breakfast or even lunch if the mood strikes you. Uh. I know, I know, it doesn't sound exciting, but trust me, nothing tastes better than a carrot you've grown yourself. I've got all the tools you need right here too. Go on, why don't you drop this plot down and give it a good till? Let's make like bananas and peel out! Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that too. Let's do that. Make sure your garden plot is on your action bar and select it by pressing the number, which I think it is number four for me. Aim where the plot should be placed and then press left mouse button to make final placement. Once your plot is down, hold, press and hold the R button and select the hoe from the tool wheel till the ground and the hoe by pressing and holding the left mouse button. So we've got to till, we've got to place the seeds on our action bar and then place them. Okay, with the left mouse button to enter placement mode, then left again while aiming at the plot. Crops need to be watered each day and the water drop indicator lets you know when they're thirsty. Many crops can be harvested at once and so the cycle begins again. When crops are ready to be harvested, simply press F to harvest it understood. Alright, so I've got to... Press 4. Okay, and then I'll just pop it here. Got my soil down. Then I'm meant to get the hoe. Till the soil with your hoe. Lovely work. Oh, I find some treasures. I don't, <laughs> I don't know if I'm doing a good job here. It seems a little patchy. Alright, okay, we're uncovering those squares. Ah, uh, okay. So you gotta get it... Gotta get it mostly done. Okay, so you don't have to... Don't have to completely clear the whole thing. I'm gonna get like... I don't know, 80% of it done. It's gotta resemble some sort of plot. Alright, my first tilling discovery. I, you've got your first item from, okay, and it just disappeared, so I don't know what it said. Alright, so now we return to Badru. He's going to tell us about, he's going to give us some seeds maybe? Nice of you to turn if. Oh, loving his jokes there. Uh, you might be wondering what you do next. Unfortunately, seeds don't plant and water themselves. Uh. You're going to need one, some of these bad boys. Consider them a housewarming gift. Once your seeds are in the ground, go to that pond and fill up this here watering can and give that dirt a nice little bath. It might take a few sun cycles and a few buckets of water, but trust me, it'll be worth the wait. Some things you, might, you plant might have an effect on the seeds around it. For example, carrots and onions keep weeds from growing next to them. If you find yourself needing more seeds, you can pick them up at Zeki's. Well, I can't wait to see you again, neighbor. Uh. That would have been funnier if I'd given you the wheat seeds. Anyway, I've got to work on my material. Let us make this day a great one. Let us, okay. Uh, so plant a carrot seed. So that's number four. I'll choose, I choose you. Just. <laughs> well, that guy just sort of throws them out, tosses them out, and they kind of, kind of go in that general direction. Right, let's get all those carrots going, and then we got our other one. Uh, let's get our onions going. Big onions. Beautiful can examine this and we can see what's growing. We've got some weed prevention. We 
because we've planted those. Okay, and I guess if we don't plant anything, I wonder if at that point, weeds eventually grow there. Uh, water your seeds. Okay. Yep, I'm trying to fill it up. Right mouse button to fill up. Water you guys. Lovely. Go on, fill it. Man, this thing holds a lot of water, jeez. Could fill up a swimming pool. Uh, oh, harvest a carrot. Okay, but I have to, it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen immediately, right? Now. Uh, so H. Ooh, this is cool. So we can see everything here, and these ones are locked to us right now. So that's just soil. Oh, we can move. Oh, right. So if I go here. Craft some items. Campfire, that's what I was looking for. Okay, so we can make that because we've got all the materials. There, yeah, just pound it. One campfire coming right up. So here it is. And we don't probably don't want to put it too close to the tent. And uh, in fact, right now it's a bit of a mess anyway. But let's uh, let's just put it, uh, let's just put it here. All right. Let's start grilling some mushrooms. I gotta get mushrooms first. Okay, let's go find some mushies. I think I saw one over here. Forage, a little bit more foraging. I seem to be pretty trusting. My guy should know. He knows which mushrooms are good and which ones are, you know, are gonna, are gonna kill you immediately. Right? He knows these things. Yeah, so make those. Yeah, look at that, look at that stuff, beautiful. Grill them up, man, they look like sausages on a stick. Five seconds, four seconds, the anticipation. Beautiful, collect them, don't burn them. Eat a grilled mushroom to gain focus. What's focus gonna do? Uh, no. Yes. Okay, so that filled the bar up there. Oh, here we go. Focus bar. Focus increases experience gained from all sources and is regenerated by eating. Ah. Okay, so we want a full bar there. At all times. Well, I don't know if it's how crucial it is and that at all times, but it helps, right? And I imagine it depletes over time. Figure out how to get used to these bars though. Uh, I prefer, much prefer just having an inventory and then being able to bring them down, but I guess I've got to unlock all these. Got to go to Zeki's store. Okay, so we've got harvesting our carrot, which I can't do right now, and I'll probably have to, this will probably have to be the next episode where I get to do that. Um, Yep, hitting it with an axe does not work. And we've got place a chair, place a table, place a wardrobe. But I have to craft that stuff up first though. Got a dining chair, wardrobe. Uh, so we're gonna need a lot more wood. Let's 
So let's get some of these bigger trees and start chopping. Oh, you need to upgrade your tool. Oh no. Oh, this one. Nope. Alright, it's gotta be these ones. Nope, it's gotta be the little ones. Okay. Come on, choppy, choppy, choppy. Wonder how difficult it is to actually upgrade. Uh, your tools. It's a decent amount. Foraging is now level two. Use 50 focus. I saw my bar deplete a little bit. About 14. Now 15. Seems to deplete it. When I picked up an item there, there we go. Maybe just whenever I do anything. At the results stage. So if I cook something, I'll get one focus there. If I can cook anything, I can't cook anything right now. Find some more mushies around here. Oh, they're singing mushrooms. Well, singing all they make a noise. They're musical mushies. What is all the way back here? Oh, this looks like the beginnings of a mine. What if we can knock these rocks down? I wonder. I wonder if you can get your friends involved. You can just have one area. A shared area. And you can all contribute. Like a guild, I suppose. A guild thing. So you can all just work on one farm, rather than everybody having individual farms. Okay, so let's uh, cook that up, yep. See how much focus we get from this. 24 out of 50. Collect. 28, okay. And now I could fill that up again. Whoops. <laughs> Gotta press left. And then the right mouse button I get. So. Let's craft an item. Surely I can make a chair now. So we can make a table. We can make a wardrobe. Uh, might we'll see if we got enough for all of them. What should I learn to make? Fence? I don't know what that is. What is that? It's like a plant coming out of it. A gate? Maybe that's a gate. And that is... Uh, a wood tent? I don't know. TP? What is it? Let's make this. Yeah. Log cabin swing gate. Cool. So you, you're inspired and then you actually can learn how to make other items. So let's place this. 
and rotate it. I'll just put it in the corner. I'd like to make a dining table, thanks. Now I'm inspired. What what will I make now? Is that a sofa? Sofa and a bench. Let's put over this one. Log cabin, large bench. Uh, and I need to make one of these, but I need more wood. So we need to get 45. Let's go out there and start. Oh, I've got to place the... Uh, no, it's alright. We can do that after. Let's just start chopping. May as well just clear this particular area out as well. Best as we can. Chop, chop. Chop, chop, buddy. Not yet. Thirty five, almost there. Which is good that we actually get a little bit more space to place things. Might be able to move our tent around as well. But it is talking about log cabins and so on, so maybe we can make something a little bit more. A little stronger. Although I don't know if this is going to deteriorate or, you know, a storm's going to come by and blow it away, I don't know. I don't know how that all works. any reason to worry about making something any more structurally sound or um, protective uh. a bookshelf yeah I'm definitely not the biggest I'm not really into crafting so oh hang on whoops what am I doing so I'll press 5 and place it over here don't want to waste space. Let's get it right up against the wall. Okay. Beautiful. Oh, you can change your clothes. Oh, look at that. Ah, right. I changed my hairstyle and everything. That's pretty cool. Cool. Alright. That's pretty nice. Okay, and we want to place the table. Which... I did craft it, right? Where is it? Where'd it go? Hang on, did I randomly place it somewhere? I did! Okay. It's around here. <laughs> There's my table. What are you doing over there? Hey. How do I get you? Come back here. What are you doing over there, mate? Get in there. Yeah, just go in there so oh, something's in the way. How do I bring it back into my inventory? Remove. Just remove it. There we go. Alright, so. Which is cool. You can just remove it. You don't have to craft it again. And then I can bring it over here. Press 1. Put it right in front, oh, close to that chair, I suppose, so I can have a meal. A meal and a view of Kenley. The government work is best done between... Ah, oh, wonderful news! I found the forms under the bookshelf in the records room. They're only a little crumbled too. Mm. If you could just sign here, here, and here, I'll be able to get you that blueprint. Sign it, mm. sign your life away. Yes, and here too. Oh, and here. There we have it, and I even remember to bring the blueprints with me. There is uh, now yours, Game Audio Dan. I suggest you plop the frame down as soon as possible and get building. 
Now, if you'll excuse me, I do believe it's time for my break. Ooh, a pip. Ooh, a pip. Ooh, a pip indeed. Okay. How's the uh, water situation going on over here? Don't need to worry about that. I don't know how often the day changes, so... Are they in need of watering? Are they good? Looks like they're good, because nothing's popping up. Place a foundation for your house. Harvest. Ooh, what the heck? Wait a second. Wait a second. Hang on a second. I don't think I'll- I don't think I'll be able to- maybe- well it says place the foundation for your house, didn't say craft it. Just said place it, so... I kind of don't want it to be there though. So I'm moving this, hopefully it's moving all the furniture with it. I've got all this stuff in the way though. Yeah, I've got all this stuff in the way, I gotta get rid of it. So I can see the pickaxe over there on the top left. Once I get to the result stage and pick up the loot, it sort of moves along a little bit there. So I'm guessing I'm leveling up my mastery of the pickaxe. Once it fills that bar, do I automatically get a better item? Or do I... Then, you know, I get to a certain level and then I have to craft, recraft something. Get rid of that. Might have to move that fire as well. Working hard, fella. Right, now, let's move that. Let's move that over here for now. Let's place this down. Um, oh no, now I've got... The plot's in the way. Can I move the plot? Oh, fantastic. Let's move you right over there for now. Great. I love that you can just pick the damn thing up and move it for wherever you want. It's not permanent, so... Okay. Now, I don't know if there's a door at the back. Because if there's a door back, I want some space in the back. Okay. We good? Add resources to your building to complete construction. Oh, hey, Tish. I have to get rid of all this stuff. Well, this is thing. These are things we use. What's going on, Tish? How are you liking Kilima? Oh, good. You're still here. Kenley mentioned he found the blueprint for your house, so I thought I'd stop by to give you some other helpful tips. If you want to finish your house, you'll need stone bricks and sapwood planks, so get comfortable with wood cutting and mining. You've met our innkeeper Ashura, right? He could teach you to make a sawmill for those planks. And Hodari sells the stone smelter you'll need for the bricks. If he's not in the village, check Bahari Bay to the east. That's where he lives. Yes. I'm so happy to hear you've decided to make Kilima your home. I'll have to stop by again with some housewarming gifts. Stop by again soon. And there she goes. Folks, I'm going to leave the episode here for today and we'll come back uh, next one and see if we can continue working on this house. Hope you're enjoying it so far. If you are, do me a favor, hit the like button and click the subscribe button if you'd like to see future content. And if you have a recommendation for another MMO or MMORPG you'd like to see me check out in my Let's Play series format, then let me know down below in the comments. Cool. Until then, I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.